Let's see who this is guy this guy is all about. Let's see what is this? Let me just zoom in. Oh he has no head, okay. Alright. Doesn't seem so tough. Not like a full knight, it's just this guy. Oh, teleports though, I guess. It's a guard counter. Interesting uh accessory on his back. Kinda reminds me of um what is it, like the Russian Hussars, Hussars or something? Medieval fantasy? Or not fantasy, but like in real life. What do you call it? The winged Hussars? I can't, I don't want to pronounce it. H-U-S-S-A-R, I think. The Great Shoe is annoying, though. I'm gonna parry you. I'm just gonna parry you, but that's all. Don't hit me. And stab. All right. You know the the heavy dashing attack is actually very useful. You know it basically attacks as fast as the normal running attack. Covers a lot of range. Anyway, Bellum Highway. All right, so this is another location you can visit as well. I mean, yeah, so much locations. Black Knife Catacombs. The B side quivers. Interesting. Um, man, there's so much to explore. Uh, oof. All right, let's try it out. Let's see what this place is like. I want to get to the Academy soon. But this is too much to explore. Polish? Are they, are they Polish? Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Polish. Asar? Usar? Hmm. Anyway. Alright, another catacomb thing. There's like a boss at the end, but you gotta activate the lever first. Any hidden walls? I know the, the last catacombs I was in did have a lot of hidden walls. There's a... One of the few times it actually has a lot of hidden walls. This one's glowing, by the way. Strange. Is it gonna explode like kill it or something? Oh, oh. Die. <laughs> don't revive, please. No, don't revive. No. Nope. Don't revive. Uh oh. It is okay, interesting. You can't stop it from reviving. You need like a holy weapon or something to stop it, I wonder. That's annoying actually. I can't I can't stop it from arriving! I don't have a holy weapon, oh thanks! I'm dead. Uh uh, what is Lost Grace? Uh it's the checkpoint, you know, the bonfires. Basically. You didn't catch that already? I mean, definitely, I mean, I don't know, if you want to watch the very beginning of the game, you'll probably catch a lot of the tutorial stuff, right? I do have it in my VODs. Uh, so this one is just normal. This one doesn't have the black flame. So I wonder, okay, is it like in Dark Souls 1, or it's like a necromancer you gotta kill or something? I imagine it could probably some kind of use a holy weapon. I don't have a holy weapon, though. I don't think. Holy weapon, holy weapon. Just to finish them off, right? Hmm. It's not holy... But usually, if, there, if it is a holy weapon, I'm gonna need, like... Hmm... What if I... Okay, wait, hold on. I don't know if I need, like, is it holy or something else? I'm not sure. Let's see. I can, like, try. Mix it up. Uh, I wanna see if I can change... No, not that one. Let's change the knife. Change it to this, because I have this, by the way. Change it to sacred. It's not ideal, it won't do a lot of damage, but... Might be useful against these skeletons. Also has like a sacred oath thing, so I can do this, I think. And uh, I get a little buff, I think. Yeah, that's nice. I use all my MP though. Okay. So I like to finish off these skeletons as possible by taking out my knife and, and attacking it while it's uh, on the ground. Oh yeah, I forgot to use my souls. <laughs> I have so many souls. I always forget to level up. Oh no, after this, maybe, hopefully. Get myself killed. Alright. 
Okay, wonder, can I parry and repulse with a dagger or something? Fuck that. I'm gonna die. Nah. Stop it. Stop it. Backstab you. I wonder, can I finish you off with the knife? No? Can I? Hello? Does it look like I can actually? Let's try again. No? Doesn't look like I can. Damn it! Alright, well that sucks. Alright, I can't use the, the holy weapon to finish him off, so they are just gonna resurrect forever, I assume. So let's just run. <laughs> bye bye. Where's the necromancer? Are you the necromancer? Also, I heard something. Did I hit a button or something? Alright, okay, okay. You just killed a necromancer. Now, I did see something over here, though. I wonder what's over here. Hmm. No. Sometimes these things, like, lead to, like, a lot of, like, a whole different branching path, but I think it's just a room, so I might as well. Sure. Uh, Alright, I see a uh, taco. Uh, how do I put a knife in my offhand? Um, or can I put it like, Yeah, you can. You can you put, like, any weapon you have in. It has a different moveset, though, I guess. It doesn't, uh, change the, the rapier moveset, but you can attack with the knife, I guess, if you want to. Exclamation mark lurk. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a command. I don't have a lot of commands, really. I think I only have one command. I forget what the command was. Actually, I think it's a command to like see how long I've been streaming. I forget what it's called though, <laughs> to be honest. It's been a while. Uh, I just don't see any other, like most commands, I don't see how useful they are, but uh, anyway. And usually, I think, I don't know, I, 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 I thought it's like by default, but I think it's maybe it's only you install like Frankerface, but usually there's a timer that shows you how long you stream anyway, like anyone who's streaming. Uh, anyway. Usher of Death, Roses, who shows the path to the catacombs throughout the lands between, depending on this ritual acts. Hmm. The dead easily lose their way, have always been sorry need of guiding hand. Unique skill, raise the axe, uh, summon skeletons. <laughs> Interesting. I can't use it though, it's an uh, intelligence weapon. But it's a little, little axe, I guess. Again, the axes in this in fantasy games are way too big compared to real life. <laughs> but whatever. Yeah. I guess that's some of the skeletons or something. I guess temporarily though. Oh, oh, it's a an archer. That's what it was. I thought I got hit by the thing, by the cleavers. All right, don't get hit by the cleavers. It's like you know, I guess it's uh, sends fortress basically. Once again, all these like little traps. I'm just gonna get you out of the picture for now. We're just gonna come back later or whatever. Grab that. Any hidden walls? You know, I imagine a hidden wall will be here maybe. Right, let's go. Ah! Right? You wear right? Yep. Yeah. I still got me anyway. Come back alive, but this one I believe is not special, so it'll go away. Now I wonder how you get rid of the, the archers there. There's there like a necromancer somewhere else. Hmm. Anyway, let's go down here. Crabs, behold, crab. Probably like a big crab somewhere or something. I don't know. Give me that. You're not allowed to have that. It's mine. This thing too. Time for crab. You don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. Therefore, you don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. All right, we can't go that way yet. Ah, 
and fake hidden walls again. No, one actually, that says no hidden. Well, this crab is like right here, so I guess I, have to go. I hate fighting crabs. They suck. died. Oh, there's another crab. You just killed your crab friend, buddy. Oh. Alright. Crabs are defeated. Alright. Secret passage. I don't think so. Secret passage. Nope. Secret passage here. Nope. Over here. Nope. <laughs> okay. You would you would actually think that there was a secret passage here or something. It didn't seem like it. In that case, where do I go from here? Because I'm I feel like I'm kinda of trapped actually. I actually don't know where to go from here. Ah, huh. is there no is there nothing really? Lie your head. This is all lies, basically. Crab, oh crab. All right, I'm kind of stumped now. Cause I, I didn't see another way to go, really. Ha! Oh no. Oh boy. Um, uh, hidden path. I feel like if there was a hidden path, there would be tons of messages that would be saying like, "hidden path here." Even though, you know, people always lie about hidden paths. And I think I missed it. Oh, I saw... There's one over there, actually. There's, there's this archer up there. But I don't know how to get up there. But... Hello? It's a coffin. Good. Stop. I'm dead. Alright. Never mind. I didn't think I would just die there. Um, hmm. I'd like to get my souls back. That'd be great. <laughs> oh, my souls are gone. Should I level up? Too bad. Um, Alright. Let's at least get my souls back. And we'll think about more of where I need to go. I'm not sure. Unless I can't go here yet. Uh, that could be a thing. I'd be kind of obscure, to be honest. Maybe you can't actually progress here yet. Or something like that. I don't know. Let me just run past these guys. There is... A necromancer. Actually, where is the necromancer? Wasn't there a necromancer around here? I remember killing that necromancer. Oh, it's right here. Stop it. Again. Die, and then you guys die. Don't lie, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Gotta be careful, though. I still can get murdered by this crap. Grab my runes at the very least. And here's the problem I can't actually. Look up there, there's no skeleton there anymore. Wow. Stop it. Give me some of my health back. At the very least. Ow. Well, they hurt so much. Just puny arrows, and yet they hurt so much. Oh, what the heck? I just saw a phantom go all the way up there. I don't know if that's a speedrun tech or anything. But... Um... Alright. That seems to be one way to do it. I don't know actually if that's what you're supposed to do. Seems a little like... Weird, you know? To do it that way. Huh. But I don't know. It seems like the only way. Unless I'm missing it somehow. 
That's such a weird way to do it, though. I mean, it's interesting because you, you would only know that if you see the Phantom, right? They are scared way to do it. I don't know. Stop! Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Stop it! Stop it! Damn you! Go away! Alright. Oh, here we go. Here's a necromancer, by the way. Go away! Along with all your skeletons. Oh. Alright. I mean, it's interesting. It's kind of hard to, like, know to do that when you're being shot by arrows, I feel like. Hmm. Oh, I guess that's how you do it. It's kind of weird. Kind of, I'm reminded of Sans Fortress, actually. You would, there would be like these like swinging pendulum blades, basically, and you would be able to jump on them. Um, it would be kind of unintended, though, when you could. But it just reminds me of that, right? So it's like, that feels like a very unintended way to do that, but maybe you are supposed to do that. I don't know. But how would you reach her anyway, right? I don't know. And here's some skeletons aiming at me, so I, I mean, it makes sense, actually. You're supposed to do it that way. Why would these other skeletons be aiming at me? Then... I mean, you have to, you're know, forced to ignore them, too. Kill that guy. And you're all dead. Try attacking! Yeah. Uh, try, try attacking, buddy. Have you tried the, the attack button? <laughs> just attack me even though he has a bow out. Can't do that. Alright. That, that's definitely, yeah, again, I really... I like the way how there's like phantoms and messages and all that. Definitely would not have figured that one out without the help of that little like player phantom. Definitely cool. This one has a buckler. But yeah. I have a buckler too, buddy. Boop. It looks kind of different than mine, actually. It looks a little different. Alright, and then from here... Hmm. I mean, I, I did see that hole, actually. I wonder if there's a hidden wall somewhere. I knew it! And no, there's no message, actually. Look, if there's no message... I gotta, I gotta let other people know, man. This be a hidden path? And oh I don't know. I don't know what it... No, not that one. That's like the edgy like pose or whatever. Yeah, I'll do that. Why not? Over here. It's a hidden path. I mean it is. There's even a boss room? That's interesting. Usually a boss room would go towards like when you open the lever stuff. You wear your thief. Oh, okay. I'm gonna lose all my runes. <laughs> um hmm. it's over here. Alright, let me just use this. Oh, that does not help me at all. Because it just got stuck in the wall. Try again. Again, doesn't help me. Um, it does lead down. So I wonder if it opens to the sewer area, you know, where the crabs are. It looks like it's not death. Hmm. <sighs> or I should go in here instead. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I should do. If I go down there, I can't get back up. So I should do this first. But if it's a hard fight, I'm gonna die, you know, so... Mm, ah, let's just do it. Who cares? Alright, it's this thing. Ah, this one's harder though, it seems. Uh-oh. Play it safe. I'm gonna play it safe. I can't take risks, because I'm gonna lose all my runes, so... Okay, so this one, yeah. Black Knife Assassin, we saw this before, but this one's undamaged, actually. 
a lot less powerful, I assume. Doesn't seem that powerful, though. Ow. Very tricky, however. Fire at me. I'm still on fire. Wait, is that like. Is like extra damage or something? It's my buff. Probably a good idea. Ah! Damn it. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Just attack. Oh my god. Seriously, stop it. Oh, I was hoping to like hit them out of it. This move is very powerful, I feel like this. And this is like an NPC fight, really, you know? Like how they dodge and stuff. Oh, that, I think that was a grab. A DPS, um, I need a DPS. I need that DPS. Hey, yeah, miss Try again. Hey, yeah, oh, I don't want to be fancy, but damn it. Okay, never mind. Never mind, please. No, 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 thank you. Damn it. I want to be fancy, but I shouldn't. Okay, no fanciness, just die. I wanted to parry, but like at this point, I use all my flasks and everything, so I really shouldn't risk it. Anyway, uh, I got the dagger, okay, and black knife grit. Not sure what that is. But I believe, I mean, that looks like the same, the very similar to the other one that I had. Um, in regards to the talismans. Ooh, uh, just, yeah, just go here. Basically the same, except it restores FP. Hmm, situational, at least, especially for me, because I don't use FP a lot. And I guess I got it was a key item, I think. A black knife print. Mark of the Night of the Black Knives Ritual. Yeah, the same assassins that you saw in the intro. But on the Night of the Black Knives, someone stole a fragment of death from Malekef, the Black Blade, and imbued its power into the assassins' daggers. The mark is evidence of the ritual and hides the truth of the conspiracy. I guess something happened with this, like, group of assassins. Can't really use it. I don't know what you would use it for. All right, that was a tricky fight. I mean, you know, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's just like I was just very scared because of losing all my runes, right? So I don't know. I also have no more like healing left at all. <laughs> um, but let's see. Well, hopefully I survive. But I also wanted to go down. Where is it? Is it yeah, down this way as well? I wanted to go over here. I'm hoping this doesn't kill me. Yep, doesn't kill me. And yeah, this is on the other side of that gate, which makes sense. That's not even well. 
There's a hidden wall in this uh in this area, but it's not here. It's up there. Heavy door open, so yeah. That oh, we're skeletons, get out of here. Open the gate. Run past these cramps. Um, from here, I mean, we can just go back to... to the beginning of the area, I guess. I mean, there was a, a teleport point, actually, after the assassin, but obviously I want to know, you know, I'm gonna leave it first. Hmm. How would you tell somebody to, like, jump on this? Try trap? Yeah, this is not very helpful. I don't know. Yeah, you, you would have to write a very complicated message to, like, tell the player how to get up there. I mean, let me see. The fa only the Phantom helped me, really. Otherwise, I don't know how you would figure that one out, to be honest. That's, like, very hard to figure out, I imagine. Alright, up, try jumping, therefore seek left. Like, how would you... You would think, like, I don't want to touch that thing, right? Because it would kill you, so you would never get close to it. But... Anyway. Interesting. I think I feel that's that's definitely a thing I feel like a lot of players would miss. I definitely would have missed it if I didn't see the phantom, so I don't know. Anyway. Oh yeah. Good thing I did it anyway. Um but let's go back here. Let's use my runes by the way. You know, I have three thousand or rather thirty thousand. Probably enough for like at least one level. <laughs> Maybe two. Level up. Um, let's see. I, I actually have plenty of vigor at this point. Mm, more endurance, maybe. Mm, more spring. Actually, I'm not sure. I should focus like one thing at a time, you know? Mm, I did feel that at that fight. I did use up a lot of my endurance. I kept like panic rolling. Um, mm, you know what? Yeah. More strength with dexterity. Let's do that. Alright. Oh, come back. I mean, I don't need to kill you, I guess, but I already am, so I might as well destroy you. But yeah. Alright. So I wonder who's the boss. I mean, we already fought a boss, but there was actually another boss over here. This is supposed to be the main boss, really, of this area. I wonder what they're like. Let's see. Hello? Oh, skeletons. Of course. And like some kind of like weird heartless from Kingdom Hearts, <laughs> basically. Um, hmm. Oh, what the heck? Hello? Ow, 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 ow. I don't know what that was. But I'm gonna backstab you. I wonder, do the skeletons respawn? I mean... Ow, ow, ow! Oh my god. I'm dead. Alright. What was that? I, maybe the cemetery shade is shooting at me? With that? I'm not sure. Hmm. I was wondering if I, could, if I could kill the skeletons. The skeletons don't seem to have that buff that necromancers have, right? I'll just run past this time. But yeah, I don't think those skeletons have that buff, so I think you probably can just kill them, right? Probably. Maybe. Hopefully. I'm gonna use my knife to backstab you. Oh, that was more damage. A little bit more damage. Probably change the Ash of War as well. Okay, yeah, I, it was shooting at me like that. So I gotta pay attention. I definitely, I want to get rid of this skeleton archer. Like now. It's gonna resurrect though. Ah, okay, I think I got rid of it. Seriously, stop it. <laughs> Excuse me. Ow. Oh my god. Oh, such a long delay. 
All right, poison attack and whatever. Sometimes does a poison. If I'm very far away, it does a poison attack. Maybe if I can backstab. At least another one of these skeletons. I want to get rid of the, at least one more, you know? That'd be great. Oh, blood. Lead loss or whatever. Uh, really? I hate this thing. Oh, poison. Or, not poison, but like, you know, the, the stun. Really? Ah, come on, give me the backstab. I guess it's easier to backstab the archer. The melee enemies just kind of move around too much. You know, the cemetery shade actually does take a lot of damage. So I guess if you focus it down. It's kind, of, it's kind of like a glass cannon though, you know, if you... Get too close though, it does a lot of damage. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 not done yet. No, what? No, 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 no. Get rid of it! Okay, I got rid of it. At least at least if just one other skeleton is not too bad. I think I'm gonna focus it down now. Unless Mo well, I could kill the other skeleton too. I just wonder if he'll just resurrect everybody. You know, you know the thing a lot of RPGs where if you just kill all the ass, then the boss will just resurrect all of them or whatever. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Okay. Couldn't get, I couldn't roll away because I was stuck between the skeleton and the boss. Use up all my healing. Oh, okay, I'll get rid of you. Get out of here. Alright. It's you and me. As long as you don't hit me with that. Okay. No, stop it. You're not dead yet? Come on. Die! Ugh. Twin Sage Sorcerer Ashes. Uh, did I kill the assassin? Uh, I did? You know, you should... I don't know. You get like a second monitor or something. I don't know, that's what I have. If I'm going to watch a streamer and have it on the background, you're going to have like a second monitor. Anyway. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I got like an ash thing. Which is another of those sorcerer guys. I guess I already had one. There's another one, I guess. Twin Sage Sorcerer Ashes. Throwing a stone crown. Those who studied Twin Sage Conspectus are the Academy's elite, capable of mastering the Limestone Comet Shard and Crystal Burst Sorceries. All right. Oh, there's another treasure here, actually. Right here. Death Fruit. All right, it's just Death Fruit. Oh, this thing is like just waiting there by the way uh da, 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 da. can i level up actually i can uh level up strength sure why not all right let's see here well we explore the black knife catacombs as it turns out there was a black knife assassin in there it's very well hidden though probably could miss it if you're not careful Actually, well, I don't know, because the only way, well, it would be the hidden wall, I guess. You could miss it if you reach up to the point, you know, where you climb on to the, uh, the giant blade, you know, coming from the ground, I guess. That's easy to miss, I feel like. Hidden wall? I feel like, you know, if you see my message there anyway, that'll be not as easy to miss. So if you, if you, you know, I feel like, uh... If you're so smart that you, you figure out how to like get up there, you probably are smart enough to know there's a hidden wall there, you know? And that's the only way... It's only after you get up there that you activate the main boss anyway. Anyway. Alright. So, that was over here. However, that's not what I was originally trying to get in the first place. Um, I was actually trying to go up, not down. I was hoping maybe if you go down, you end up going up anyway, but I guess not. It was just simply another dungeon, which is not bad to go towards, to do, get some death root, I guess, even though 
I mean, that's just like another side thing. Doesn't really affect me either. Because your face spells. Uh, just do a lot of things that just don't help my character at the moment. But let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to get up over here. Over there. Okay, well this... Okay, you see that giant bridge over here? This giant bridge... I guess I can get up from there. That giant bridge seems to be leading from the academy, right? And in order to get into the academy in the first place, you got that key, you know, and do the whole academy thing. So I might might do that soon. I just want to just double check. Is there anything you can do this way? If I can get up there without going through the academy. But it looks like that's what you're supposed to do. I don't know how big that bridge is. Like, it's really high up. It looks broken as well. So I don't know if you're supposed to do it through the academy. Can you just get up from here, maybe? Is a ramp or something? Not sure. But yeah, this is just back here. And we could have been here already. Let's just teleport. Air puns. <laughs> um... What was I doing? Oh yeah, I'm going here and hmm. trying to figure out this wall there. I try to go this way. Well, well, I mean, this looks like it's you can go there, right? But I, th I think I've been there already. Hmm. Go this way. Did I go this way yet? Go south more. Maybe if I go south. And go around. There will be a way up. Maybe. Huh? Mm. Ding dong. Wait. Oh. What the heck. What's going on? Oh, a bear. Okay. Oh, it's just a bear. That's all. I heard the ding dong though. I don't know where the ding dong comes from. Usually it's from what, like a moving mausoleum. But the ones we saw actually don't have bells. So is it just... I mean, it sounds like it's coming from the academy. No, it's right, actually down, all the way down there. Okay, that's another one. If you want to... That one. Okay, here's the bridge. Okay, here's the bridge. You can't seem to get the bridge from there. You probably can't, well... I mean, I don't know. You have a triple jump, maybe. You can, like, get to the academy from the back, I guess. But, let's see. It seems like, yeah, you can go over here a little bit. As well. Oh, you can get down from here, too. Okay, okay. I think this is the way. Yeah, alright. This is the way. Okay, let me get rid of that marker, actually. That's not useful. Get rid of that. Uh, why do I have a marker over there? Oh, because the marker over there goes, like, this way. Now, can I get up from here? Hmm. Well, I mean, I've been here before, actually. Um, hmm. Yeah, I've already been up here. So I'm trying to figure out how to get up over here. That's what I'm trying to figure out. But, okay. Well, hmm. Hold on. Explore a little bit more. If there's no way up there, then I guess there's just no way up there. In that case. Probably go back down near the bridge. I did see that icon that usually indicates like a mining cave, which I do want to go into. Because I need more smithing stones. <sighs> it's always smithing stones with me. Thing. Yeah, I killed it before, right? Come on. No, I don't need it, but kill it anyway. Trying to figure out. Okay, let's go to the, the, the third marker that I had. Like, it seems like maybe go up from there. L at least look looking at the map. But maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Mm. Come on. Yeah. Because when I went this way, it just goes back this way and it's kind of like. Ah. Mm. Come on. Come on. Yeah. 
Yeah, this just goes back this way, and I already went this way, like, yeah. Because if I go down there, I'll just end up over here, right? Ah, damn it. I didn't mean to fall down. Alright, whatever. Hmm. Can't seem to get up there. As far as I know. But. Okay, okay. Teleport back here. Where are that marker? Here are this marker, too. Over here. If I follow. Okay, if I follow the path of the bridge, maybe. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Go, like, go this way, basically. Also, I think my... I don't know, is it my neighbor? I'm not sure. I think my neighbor is, like, making noise. Through the walls. Which sucks. <laughs> I wish we would stop doing that. <laughs> but anyway. Um... Okay, go down here. All right. So this is where the bridge was, I think. All right. So I saw the bridge over there. Oh, there's like a little seal there, actually. I didn't see that. Hmm. I wonder, well, can you use a key to like open that seal and go from the back? That's what I thought, but then I saw the bridge. You couldn't really get up there, right? But anyway. Down here, down here. Don't die. <laughs> That'd be great. It's like, it's platforming now. Ugh. Okay. Down here. Ding dong. Ding dong. Alright, down here. So this is new. At least to me. I wonder if there's a checkpoint anywhere. Bellum Highway. Haven't I been to Bellum Highway before? Or was it... It was kind of weird because I was... It said Bellum Highway over here, actually, but I wasn't actually in the highway yet. Um... Oh, finger reader. It's you. Any hints about how to progress the game? You... You... Finger is here. Oh, what a pity it is to be without the right. All you can do is stand at a loss. Without even the half crescents that wish to be whole. Before the unmoving, unfeeling grand lift ahead. Ah. Or are you planning to throw yourself to the waters? To find the coward's passage through the dim cavern. Hmm. Okay. I think that's just another hint, as far, as far as I know. To get to the other location, right? I already did most of it, but you go through here, you fight the magma worm, right? Yeah. Otherwise, you need the medallions to activate the, the lift, I guess. I think it was mentioned, the grand lift, to like, go to the Altus Plateau. Hmm. Well, obviously, I can't go this way. You don't have the right. Oh, here you go. Here's a grit race. Nice to have. So I don't have to like do the thing where to go all the way around just to reach her again. And the statues. I wonder what they indicate. Hmm. Or is it? I mean, it's just decoration, I guess. But sometimes it has significance. Uh oh, the knight. Magic Knight. A Carrion Knight. Hey. Is it a Cuckoo Knight or a Carrion Knight? I'm not sure. I think, no, no, it's, I think it's a Cuckoo Knight. I think a Carrion Knight, I don't think we've ever actually seen yet. <laughs> just, just, just wrecked you, by the way. Alright. So, you keep going north here. I don't wonder how you get up there. Maybe you go around from here, maybe. Anyway. Let's, yeah, let's explore a little bit of this location actually this 40 fps location um all right see some enemies one of those knights 
freaking mage. Freaking get out of here. No magic. Even though this is the, literally the, la the land of magic, you're not allowed to do magic in my presence. Okay. Who's the other guy? Get out of here. I don't want him to be interrupting this honorable duel. I want to get parry the guard, the guard counter. I don't know. Well, you do anything else besides that? Oh, you can't do that, I guess. Stop shield bashing me. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna get myself killed. I'll parry though. Sometimes you just wanna parry, alright? Like that. <laughs> Bam. Alright. Only something over here actually. What's that? I wonder what's over here. It is something. It is a church of Marika, I think. Looks like it anyway. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's a church of Marika specific specifically, but it is a church. That's good. Oh, it reminds me actually, I should probably uh, swap out the uh, Ash of War for, for the, uh, for the knife. You know, did I change it to something else in particular? Mm, I don't know if I should. I don't know if there's anything to change it to, really. Make it frost, you know, if I do like a frost stomp if I wanted to. Um, mm, nothing about it. It's not like, it's not, it's not meant to be like a offensive weapon other than like reposting, really. That's all it does. Um, yeah. And is there a sacred tear here? Usually there's always a sacred tear from the Queen Marika statue. Yep. Might as well use it. Make my flasks even better. Well, more like golden seeds would be nice too. Just having like quantity, you know? The, increase the quantity of the flask rather than the quality at this point. A nine is a good number anyway. Um, let's see. Well, you can go down sort of. Do I want to go down? I don't know. That just kind of leads down there and also there's a wolf biting my face. Alright. Let's see. Oh, more swords. You know, a lot of these like sword Gravestones, it seems. Oh, what's this? What's going on? Is it ballistas or something? Balliste? I don't want to read this first. <laughs> the first Lunar War. Radicon's glory burns red as his hair. Alright. There's two wars, I guess. There's the second one and the first one, too. Oh, it's, um, it's a trebuchet. <laughs> Classic. Classic trebuchet. Classic siege weapon. I know you just use. I don't know you would use it against like one person. Ow! You would use it to like break castle walls. You know, just not, not throw rocks at one person. And it's not usually this accurate. <laughs> Heck. Yeah. Ow. All right. Well, let's not get hit by that. In fact, let's get rid of it if possible. There's also that thing over there. Excuse me. Uh, can I go around? Skyrim it real quick. Okay, I don't think. Oh, no. I am Skyrimming it. Good. Who's activating this trebuchet? Get. Get out of here. Get out of... Die. Alright. There's a knight though over there. Get rid of you too, if possible. I can't lock on this, the right person. Lock over here. No. Why am I not locking on this guy? Okay. Uh-oh. I hear the horn. 
Um, that's not good. Reinforcements are gonna be here soon. Probably run away soon. Yep, I see a lot of soldiers there. Excuse me. Uh oh, that guy too. Um. Damn it! I'm trying to parry. I only hope. Ah, what? Seriously? Seriously? Excuse me. Okay, don't die to fall damage. All right. Well. I'm leaving, but also coming back because like, I, I, I mean, I want to go through this way. Um, okay, just you. You have magic swords, by the way. Gotta be careful of the homing swords. Time for a cavalry battle, I guess. Hoping for like a repose. You can't repose. I think I did it once. You can repose someone who's on the ground like that. Whoa. That's crazy. There we go. Give me some health. Delicious, delicious HP. Alright. This is that thing. I hate fighting that thing to be honest. But let's see here. Yeah, kill the guy in the back, you know? Eh. Come on. Die, alright. You, if possible. Spears are dangerous, though, when you're on horseback. They kind of, like, stab you really easily. I mean, it makes sense, historically, actually. That spears do, like, uh, make horses very scared, you know? Because of the pointy bits. Horses do tend to stay away from anything that, like, might hurt them, is pokey, like, pointy sticks in particular. Let's see. Just looping back over here. Oh, this guy forgot all about me. That means he's dead. Boop. Uh, can you get an armored horse? I actually don't know. I don't know if there's, like, horse armor DLC. <laughs> you know, like, Skyrim or whatever. Skyrim was, was it Skyrim or Oblivion? You know, where they introduced DLC where you like add armor to your horse or whatever. I actually don't remember where it came from. But you know, that was the first instance of like a like a, a price like cosmetic, I think. I mean not first instance, but the most famous one I feel like. Video games. But yeah, you can use a lance or a spear. Yeah, there is I believe there is like kinda like a great spear category. So you could become like a real like Knightly kind of person that just uses lances and stuff, right? The only reason I don't use it because uh, in this game you gotta upgrade your weapons and all that, so I can't swap as much as I want to. Maybe later on we can just upgrade any weapon I get. I'm also kind of lazy because I don't want to like just swap weapons every time. Um, you can't. You also can't just use your horse anywhere. You can use your horse for most of the open world, but not literally everywhere. Anyway. That, that is pretty cool though, the whole like cavalry combat, that's definitely new to Elden Ring. Or new to the Soul series anyway. Ow, ow. Screw you, <laughs> why are you here? You're not, you're invited. There you go. Bam. I mean, they have armored horses, I think. Oh, no. Mm, a little bit. You see a little bit of armor on the head there. Anyway. Very fancy. They have like, um, what do you call it? I actually don't know what we call it, but like horse cloth, I guess. I can't dress up my horse. Where's the horse armor, you know? All right, so over here, I, I was just wondering, I, I was just wondering what over here is. Because I thought there was like a church or something, but actually it looks way bigger than that. It's not just a church. I actually don't know if it is a church, but this is like a whole area as well. Huh. Mm. 
Just checking if there's any gray spot, uh, spots. Oh, something, something like it. Right. Yeah, I was wondering what this place is. What is this? Item. Hmm. Wait, is this? Well, I don't know. Guess we'll see. Let me just touch this grace. Touch grace. I mean, I can also rest at it to see what this place even is. It is the grand left uh, lift of Dactus. Okay, it's the great elevator, right? Yeah, it makes sense. So this is the elevator that actually goes to the, uh, the Altus Plateau as well. Um, I imagine, though, you need the other medallion, which I don't have. The other medallion, I think, is all the way west. Or the other, like, piece of the medallion, anyway. I can't actually activate this yet. But, alright. I mean, how would you even activate it, though? You just stand here? Where would you stand? Maybe they, oh, maybe there's an elevator here, but, like, it's not, like... I don't know, anyway. Don't fall off. Uh, but there you go. Okay, so that's... This is the grand lift of Dactus. I guess we can't really do much here. Oh, there's a ghost here I can talk to. Yep. What do you say? It's there somewhere. Another path leading back to the foot of the earth tree. An ancient tunnel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, three hints already to say, like, actually, you don't need to use this lift. You can go the other way, but I already did that. Anyway, all right. There's that. Oh, I actually want to go over here, too, though. Okay, hold on. I'm not done yet. I'm gonna go this way first. Um, uh, around here. Just to see. I don't know if there is a way. But it looks like you can, yeah. Because so I saw something over here too. I'm hoping... It will lead me to another Church of Madika. Give me a sacred tear and... You know, bada bing bada boom. Yep. <laughs> Alright, yeah. There you go. Fire! Um... The Eye of Sauron? Holy... <laughs> I'm... Okay. That was madness. Interesting. This is an instant kill me. It just gives me like a... Little stun animation. It damages me a little bit, but otherwise... I'll also lose some FP though as well. That's bad. Let me grab this real quick. And this real quick. And blah. Okay. I, I don't know if there's a way to stop it, but yeah, I'm just getting madness. I'm just going crazy. Ah! Stop it! Ah! I gotta constantly heal up. Now, is it still doing its effect here? Yeah, I think it doesn't do it anymore. Right? As long as I don't see it, I guess. I lose all my FP, though. It's interesting. It seems like, yeah, maybe there's... I mean, you can inflict madness, I assume, as a character. But maybe... Kind of like an anti-mage kind of build, you know, in PvP. It's like mana some people, they lose all their FP and stuff. No, no. Interesting. Alright, can I use my map? Alright. Okay, so that's what that is. Interesting. There's a village over here too. I don't think I can go directly up there, can I? Oh no, no, okay. This is something else actually. It's like a tower of some sort. And obviously, yeah, the rats here are just have those eyes, so I assume they're like really... Uh oh. Get heal! 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 Okay. Ah! Heal! 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 Again! Okay. I'm not dead. So that's something, okay, effective as well. It stuns you, so you can't get hit. And stuff. Right, I'm gonna ignore the last thing. So let's go over here. Stop doing that! Could you stop doing that, please? Excuse me. Can you stop turning everybody crazy? That'd be nice. I assume there's somebody here. I see a treasure chest, by the way. Hopefully I don't die before we get the treasure chest. Alright. I guess it's these guys. They're like, I'm, I, We're all crazy. Oh. Actually, I got the I got the madness uh, effect, but I didn't actually do the animation because I was on the ladder. It was just interesting. Are you done? I think we're done. Okay. I wonder if there's an item that like probably gives you resistance to madness. I have too many items. I don't know which one does what. Um. Hmm. Stamina recovery. 
This good negation. Oh yeah, I never use any of those. Anyway. I guess that stopped it though. Alright. I wonder if they respawn, however. Maybe. Step. What's this? It is a howl of a shibiri. Shibiri? Shibiri. 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 It's another, like, yeah, frenzy thing. Faith, though. That's interesting. Incantation originated from the Manning Three Fingers. Not the Two Fingers, it's Three Fingers. Releases a Manning Shriek, causes madness build up. Da -da -da. Gives you madness build up as well. It is said that the sickness and the flame of frenzy began in Shibari, the most raw man in all history. Yeah. Interesting. So Shibari is like a person. What was I mentioned before? I don't remember. We can do a little howl. I imagine it's like similar to the howl that uh, those grafted scions, I think. How do you pronounce this? Scion? Those grafted scions will do that too. Just scream at your face. So you can, you can do that too. Amazing. Okay. Stop. Ow. I'm gonna die these rats. It's always the rats. It's always four legged creatures and birds. Dogs, rats, and birds. The most strongest enemies in these kind of games. Every time. Oh, all right, let's 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 go. It kind of reminds me of Goblin Slayer, actually. You know how like Goblin Slayer, the the manga, I guess the anime too. All is, is all about like a story about like how someone just kills a bunch of goblins. Even though in an RPG, uh, typical RPG goblins are just like very low level creatures, right? I wonder. I don't know. Can you make like a Rat Slayer character or something? So even though rats are like very, you would think like very weak and stuff. It, it can actually kill you very easily. Dogs, rats, and birds, right? Especially in a game without, like, you know, any passive poise. You get stun lock very easily, especially, like, roll catch. Because, you know, because ever, ever since they introduced the anti stun lock mechanic, where you don't get stun locked a whole bunch, they introduced, like, delayed attacks, right? So even though you don't get stun locked, you can easily panic and roll into another attack, as, as you know, if you just press the button as soon as possible. And then you just get, like, Locked into like getting hit again and again and again if you, pan if you panic anyway. Stop. Okay. Oh, all right. So that was a frenzy flaming tower. But that wasn't the actual thing over here. But you'll probably have to go around this way. What I'll do. This way. It seems to be another tree as well. Cause I, yeah, I, I I remember killing a tree before, like an earth tree before. But it was like, oh, it was like down here. Yeah, okay. It's not like a different tree. It's the same one actually. Anyway, go over here. I assume this is also a place full of frenzy. He's doing the frenzy pose. Everyone's mad. Oh, crazy. Doesn't seem so tough though. In terms of just killing everyone, but I'm gonna do something though. Stop it. Alright. And you too. Multiple of you. Uh oh. If I let them cast, yeah, they're gonna do like magic and stuff. Uh that's fine. We're dead. item frenzies the cookbook okay so crafting i guess i mean what would you craft of this actually i'm interested uh let's see the item allows you to craft clarifying boluses okay hmm. i assume that actually helps you with frenzy ironically even though you find it in a place full of frenzy people hey That's where my marker is. I saw some enemies around here though. What are they doing? Just sitting around? Yeah, okay, they're just cuckoo knights. Uh, the crazy cuckoo knights, I think though. Oh, there's one over there too. <laughs> staring at me. Can you stop staring at me, please? Backstab me. Yeah. Everyone else wakes up.
armor. You stop, don't throw things at me, please. That's very rude. And more swimming stones. Tier 3. That's good to have. Uh, Shabiri, Shabiri's Woe. I think, yeah, I think this is actually one of the uh, starting gifts, you know. I actually know what this is. Um, so you can get it in the game as well. But it's a disturbing likeness of a man whose eyes have been gouged out. The corners of his mouth are upturned in an almost flirtatious manner. <laughs> Constantly attracts enemies' aggression. They said that the man named Shabriri, I don't know how to pronounce it, Shabriri, 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 had his eyes gouged out as punishment for the crime of slander. Over time, the blood of the flame of frenzy came to dwell in the empty sockets. Okay, he's the, the origin of all this frenzy stuff, is the idea. And uh, it, it uh, attracts enemy aggression. So that's probably good for co-op, basically. You know, it doesn't seem very useful for like single player, but if you want to be like a tank or whatever, you know, right? You want to like keep the aggro on yourself, then you probably want to use that if you're cooperating. So it's useful in that situation. Hmm. All right. I guess that's it for this area. Frenzy Flame Village. Now I do wonder, how do I... So can I go up there, I wonder? From here. Oh, oh, rats. I see that by the way, Scarab. Wonder if it's just FP again, or is it like a thing? I wonder. Oh, it doesn't even give me FP. Alright, I assume it refills your, like, FP flasks. But I don't have, you know, FP flasks at all. So it just doesn't do anything for me. Alright. It's like a slightly different color. I don't know. Because I, I remember killing one of those and it doesn't give me something. Ah, Lord Vike. It seems that you were no lord after all. And where is he? Our true lord. Our lord of frenzy flame. We beg of you. Incinerate all that divides and distinguishes. Ah, make chaos take the world. Alright, crazy person. The ghost of a crazy person. Alright, so yeah. Mm, I, 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 I want some grace if possible. Uh oh. Is it invasion time? Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Is there no grace around here? Or at least a checkpoint? That'd be nice. I think I'm getting invaded by uh, an NPC. So what's that? And there's a rat. Oh, I think that's a scarab that I can kill. Well, hold on. I had to kill the invader first. Hopefully, I don't die to the invader. Okay, he has like a little. Not little, it's actually a big spear. Frenzy, so yeah, I can probably do frenzy stuff. Oh, it's a freaking beam, what the heck? No, oh. ah. Ow. Oh, it's a frenzy spear too, oh my god. It's dangerous. Ah, stop it. Oops, stop it. Okay, this, no, this ah, damn it. Trick me. I thought he was backing off. I don't want to get frenzied again. That'd be great. Oh, I can do something. Oh. Okay. Ow. Nope. Strong attack. Oh, uh, some kind of thing. Is it a howl or something? Interesting. This is like a, just a full-on frenzy build, I guess. It's interesting. The magic is kind of good for PvP. You build up that frenzy, you know, they get stunned and stuff. Especially if they're a mage, they'll lose up all their FP. Oh, away. Hoping to parry that, but I'll just backstab you instead. Oop. And... take that. Drop anything useful? We dropped that spear. Uh, no, he actually, yeah, he did drop that spear. Also, fingerprint grape in his war spear. Interesting. Uh, let's see here. Let's look at his key item first. What was that? Fingerprint grape. Eyeballed Knight Vike in flame yellow. Seed of repulsive fingerprint burn akin to those that marred his entire body. Hmm. So he, like, shoved his finger in his eye 
Uh, if offered to the blind maiden, it will lead her to the source of distant light, allowing her to become a finger maiden. Oh, interesting. I mean, it makes kind of makes sense, sort of, because the finger, right? The whole finger motif, fingerprint. So I make her a finger maiden. Well, it's kind of like this is like the three fingers, right? Not the two fingers. So I wonder if you make her to like a crazy maiden, right? So that blind maiden we saw before, I wonder if you can give this to her and then she does become a finger maiden, but it's like a, you know, three finger crazy super madness maiden. This is like, she goes all crazy and stuff. I don't know. And what's the spear? War spear singed and blistered by fingers used by Vike. Now you're the round, round hole table hole. Oh, oh, he's, he's actually from the round table hole. We never actually met him in there, but, uh, but he, like Vike himself, has been tormented by the yellow flame, a frenzy from within. Mm, yellow flame. Kind of reminds me of, um, what was that? Lovecraftian thing. What was it? The king in yellow, you know? It reminds me of that. Uh, Friends in flame thrust, and yeah, you, you do the skill that he had. The faith thing, though, okay. Mm. Interesting. It causes madness builder. That's interesting. I don't know if I'll use it for this character, but I guess you could make kind of like a faith madness kind of build of that. Yeah. Well, I can use it. I mean, I can show. I'll just show it. We can't, I can't actually do this the thing though because I don't have the requirements. I don't have faith stuff. Right? So. I can just do this. Oh, you know, but no actual flame. I mean, either way, I don't have, have the FP anyway, but you know. Alright, what's in here? I assume another church, right? Yep, Church of Inhibition this time. Oh, man. You dead? Thank you. Yeah, she's a finger maiden, alright? But she's dead. Just Okay, <laughs> she's just she's just there, silent. Dead. I assume dead. She's not breathing, so. Mm. Like this. Here. Alright. Strange. I don't know. I don't think she's the blind maiden. The blind maiden obviously was blind, so it's not a blindfold. Huh. Looking in her eyes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Creepy. Alright. Can't level up actually? No? no. Uh last nice. secret here. Alright. Like plus seven now. That's a lot. I could also look at the finger maiden stuff. Uh let's see. Where is it? It would be here. Finger maiden robe. Robe worn by maidens who serve the two fingers. The maidens live to serve a chosen tarnish, sharing their guidance and wisdom of the two fingers. The guidance of grace would ensure that the pair be brought together, or at least such was a promise long ago. Hmm. Not anymore, I guess. I mean, it's, again, like a theme of the game, where the player character would have, like, uh, some kind of, like, NPC that, you know, you go to and talk to and level up and stuff. We do have one, but... She's not really a finger maiden is what she said, I think. She's not like a real one or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. That's what she implied anyway. Um, you also can't talk to her anytime you want. Sometimes you can talk to her, but not always. I thought like every time you go to a church of Monica, she could, you could talk to her. But this one's not church of Monica, I guess. Alright, see ya, Doge Taco. Anyway, so from here... Let's see. Anything else over here, I wonder. I'm not sure. Hmm. I do want to explore a little bit over here, and then finally, oh yeah, I want to go over here too, eventually as well. And then finally, I can probably go into the academy after getting that key, I think, that was mentioned before. Maybe. But, alright. Guess we'll do that. After killing all these crazy people. Let's, uh, kill sorcerers next, maybe. I guess we'll see.